Welcome friends, uh, let us try to use the GeoGebra for the task verifying the properties of the angles of if two parallel lines are cut by the transversal. We will be drawing two lines and we will draw a transversal and we will try to check the properties of corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles and consecutive angles. For that the step is you have to draw two lines. Uh, we have to draw one line and then a line parallel to it then a transversal and then uh, we have to measure all the angles formed out of it. For that we can start with a ray or you can start with a line whichever is convenient to you. I will start with a line. I will just draw a line AB I have drawn. Now I have to draw another line parallel to it to point or I will take a point over here. I will just call it as C. Now I have to draw a line parallel to this AB through C. Now I have drawn two parallel lines now. Or whenever you are uh, moving this, this also moves. These two lines are parallel now. Okay. Now let us take one more point on this uh, second line. Uh, let us uh, call it as uh, CD. Okay. Now AB and CD are parallel. You can move and then uh, check it, check it out. You can move and check it out now. These two are parallel. Now we need a transversal. Now the transversal is one more line. So just I am taking a line and I am drawing a transversal now. Okay. Now to measure the uh, angles and all. Okay. So we need this point of intersections. So let us find the point of intersections now. We have to go to this intersect using the tool. This is the point of intersection now. This is the point of intersection now. Now, so many angles are formed. So many angles are formed. Let us try to measure all the angles and try to uh, show the children one after the other by hiding them. Okay. Now, let us try to uh, go in this order. We will try to uh, show all these angles and we will try to show all these angles which are formed over here. Always remember, uh, in every case, you have to go in uh, clockwise direction. Okay. Now, let us go to this angle. Now, we want the first angle now. Just this angle, angle, and then angle. First angle is made. Okay, now it is coming as 125.14. In that option, you can go for this rounding off and you can go for 0 degrees so the children will not have any confusion. Okay, uh, next is uh, we need uh, the angle at the bottom. Okay, we'll just go in that order, we'll just go in the cyclic order. Okay, we'll just to have uh, this uh, the angle made at here. Therefore, I told you earlier you have to go in uh, clockwise direction. So let us go for this B and then G and then E. Where we got the next angle. Now. Okay, this 55 degrees. Okay, what? Let us see what is the, this alpha and beta. We have to remember them. Okay, let us see what is the angle made uh, at the bottom. But we will just go for it. H, G and B. Okay. 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 I will take this angle once again. Angle, then H, B and then. Okay, this angle is once again 125. Okay, you can now check the check the, these two are uh, what type of angle 125 and 125. Okay, uh, pair of angle the ch children will tell. Okay, we'll, we should go for this angle for that once again uh, clockwise direction. Again taking angle, touching A, touching B and then touching H. Okay, we got this angle now as 45 degrees. Okay, now the angles of uh, all the four angles we have just uh, made use of here. Okay, well. Okay, when you just move it uh, over here, then the angles also will changes. Okay. Similarly, let us try to uh, show the angles which are at the bottom. Always remember, I think uh, the way uh, which it should be done, uh, you know it. Okay. Now, uh, try to uh, remember it once again. Okay. Uh, now, let us just go for uh, measuring the first angle now. This angle, angle C, this one. You have to go in clockwise direction. Okay, therefore G, H and C when you touch, you will get this angle. Okay, this angle you got. You have to go in clockwise direction. Okay, well, now let us try to how what is this uh, this angle if you want. Once again go for this angle. Touch this, touch this and then go for it. And you got the angle here as uh, 54. Once again you need uh, this angle to go in uh, once again uh, clockwise direction therefore go to this and then press angle then f h and then d if you touch it then you will get it 
Now you can get this angle by touching these uh, lines also, but anyway, you know this. So we'll again, go for these angles now. Again, one more angle is uh, left out now, uh, that is uh, C, H, and F if I touch, and I'm getting these angles. Okay, now let us uh, first uh, go for these corresponding angles which are equal. Now, by noting down these angles, what is alpha, what is beta, what is delta, and what is gamma, and then eta, and then theta, and uh, uh, like that. Now, the child can uh, try to understand that what are corresponding angles. You can ask them to list out what are the corresponding angles. For example, alpha and uh, 126 here. Okay. Now, you can uh, ask them to write it as angle E, uh, A, B, E, G, B, and the angle G, uh, H, and C. These two are 126. Similarly, 54, 54, 126, 126, 54 and 126, like that. But the corresponding angles are equal. Now, they can see what is the alternate interior angles. Alternate interior. Now, they can see here the one angle is made at G, another angle is made at N. Uh, at H, they can tell that these two angles are 126 degrees, they are equal. Similarly, they can see what is the alternate exterior angle. For beta is on the top and theta is in the 54 and 54, like that, they can find it out. Then another thing is that, very interesting thing, they can uh, try to find out what is the property of the consecutive angles, the sum is 180, where you can see over here at G, the one is made and here uh, 54, one, 126 plus 54, it is 180 degrees. Now, if you want to show them only uh, certain particular angles, what you can show is, now you know that uh, what is this alpha, beta, gamma and all, for what you can uh, do over here is, if you just simply touch this alpha, for example, alpha goes. Okay, when you touch this beta, beta goes. When you touch this gamma, gamma goes. Okay, suppose I am just talking about it. Suppose when you just touch it once again, it will come. Therefore, if you want to show only, uh, if you want to show corresponding angles, you want to show them only beta and the theta here. Therefore, alpha you remove, the gamma also you remove, this also you remove, this also you remove, this also you remove, this also do not show. And now you can tell the children that the corresponding angles are equal over here. Suppose you do not want to this grid and all, what you can uh, go for it is actually uh, uh, you can go to this uh, geometry, uh, this one once again and now the child can check out that the corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, making use of this uh, graphing, what you can do is you can uh, want to show whatever is required and you can hide whatever is not required. In order, you can show it to the children. For example, if you want to show them that the consecutive angle summation is 180 degrees, only this 126 and 54, you have to keep it. Therefore, you can remove this, you can remove this, you can and not show it and then not how to show, not how to show, not how to show. Okay. Now, you can tell that, uh, ask the children to find out this 126 plus 54 and you can go back to this geometry uh, and you can move and then ask the children to check at any place. Okay, 137 plus 43, then 121 plus 59, 140 plus 40, everywhere it is, will be the summation will be 180 degrees. Only. Okay, based on uh, whatever required, you can show it to the children so that they can check out properties of all corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angle and the consecutive angles. Okay. Thank you friends for watching.